Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Skepta, he's known in the UK amongst the youth, the teens, one of the main artists when it comes to grime music, drill music and <laughs> when the likes of Skepta are mentioned you don't think spirituality, don't think religion, you just think dunya, yeah you just think dunya. But Skepta threw a curveball, oh yes he did. Yeah, in his Instagram story that was posted a couple of days ago, he goes, I woke up this morning happy and full of joy. Yeah, was it because of women? Was it because of cars? Was it because of his fame? Can't stop crying. Whoa, whoa, this is a grime artist, mate. KMT kissing my teeth, lol. Such a beautiful month, referring to Ramadan. Everything I searched for in psychedelics, which is drugs, I found by fasting. One of the main things is I use food to suppress my emotional stress and anger. It's very important. Yeah. Granted, I have learned these bad traits from somewhere, but still it's my issue and I have to see somebody about it. I'm so thankful and will definitely be fasting again, even on regular days, simply because it is so humbling. Love to my brothers and sisters that fasted for Ramadan. Eid Mubarak. <laughs> now, subhanallah, what a profound message. Absolutely profound. He, you can see he's poured his heart into that. And this is something that's very important. Some people were, were posting on Twitter, they didn't expect this from Skepta. But this is something that I think it's very important for us to unpack here because there's a lot that the teens watching and the parents watching can gain from this, mate. I'm about to drop some knowledge. All right, guys, so when it comes to the teenagers, yeah, what issues are they going through? We can probably put them in one of these three categories, yeah? Troubling experiences. Yeah, it could be dealing with gangsters and gangs and who knows what else, yeah? Troubling experiences. Number two, unexpected emotions. Yeah, unexpected emotions, stuff that you didn't really think that was within you, yeah? It could be with the opposite gender, you know, you got your parts growing and hormones, you know, surging in your body. And number three, it's fitting in, yeah, fitting in. Because what is in one year may be cringe the next year. So, and also when, when it comes to the information that we're getting now in the 21st century compared to what somebody may be getting 50 years ago, it's, they'd say, approximately three times more information yeah so you're dealing with with all of that and of course it's it's going to affect you it's going to trouble you so how does that relate to drugs how does that relate to intoxicants well if we look at teenagers because of all these issues that are surging and happening they will self-medicate because of anxiety stress lack of sleep whatever it is some people think it's to do with Oh, just experimenting with drugs and getting high. <laughs> yeah, but it's not always that. Yeah, they are a minority. The majority are using it to self-medicate. Now, let's look at the brain structure. Yeah, for teens, their frontal and prefrontal cortex has not developed until the age of 25. Yes, that's right. So you could even say until the age of 25, their brain hasn't fully yet developed. And you need the prefrontal and frontal cortex for decision making, for, for planning, yeah? So you might be thinking, well, what are they using then? Well, they're using their limbic system, yeah? They're using the limbic system, which is, <laughs> which is to do with emotion, which is to do with desires, yeah? That's what it is uh, linked to and that's what it's, it's got to do. So, okay, well, well, what do we do? What do we do with this information? Yeah, well, using this information, we can see why addiction affects teens more than adults. Yeah, you'll see somebody like Skepta, maybe at this age, 25 or young, maybe his mind may not have helped or facilitated this journey for him. Now that obviously he's a bit older, he's a bit wiser, it's easier for you to kind of, you know, compartmentalize and really sort yourself out. So what is 
the solutions that we're offering. Well, Skepta has, you know, looked into Islam and, you know, engaged with Muslims. And the more you do this, guys, watch. Yeah, you can read these self-help books. They will say words like transcendental meditation and uh, being mindful and self-efficacy and all of these things. But Islam is something that adds more weight to them. For example, they say, be mindful, listen to your breathing. Be mindful, just empty your mind. But Islam is something that makes it practical. Yeah, something that's practical. How? How does Islam make it practical? Mindful, praise Allah, remember Allah. Remember Allah, dhikrullah. Yeah, they talk about affirmations and self-help. But here, subhanAllah, Islam is giving you dhikr. Yeah, remembrance of Allah, which makes it more practical. Fasting is something that reduces your emotions and you know takes away the excess energy that you have. So, and on top of that, of course, blessings. Obviously, Allah wants to assist us in in our in in our daily life. So, Allah's given us salah, five daily prayers that ground us. Yeah, that calm us, reduce our you know heart rate and blood pressure and all this. You'll be able to find all this self-help stuff that is littered around uh, when it comes to Islam. Well, I wouldn't say littered around, but I mean, <laughs> but I mean it's within the texts of, of, of Islam and the Quran, yeah, that will relax you, that will discipline you. you yeah? Rather than saying, don't look at the, the haram and don't, don't look at this and that, Islam will say, lower your gaze, yeah? Lower your gaze. Yeah, and it gives you practical ways. So fasting is one of those things that is practical. And the other thing that Skepta mentioned, it was how these things have affected him. Yeah, trauma. And in the book that I used when um, studying for this video, it mentioned trauma is normally, it normally comes to us from a small and young age. Yeah, especially when parents aren't together, it then causes a child and obviously if a child gets abused as well. So parents not staying together and abusing children, these are things that can cause issues later on. So what you can do is when it comes to your household, make sure you know, you're know you very careful selecting your partner. And then when you have kids in your home, be very careful how you, you know, have and present a certain environment for them at home inshallah you guys have benefited from this and you learned something and uh, yeah i hope more people take skepta's line and give islam a chance because islam works it's practical and it's unapologetic let's leave it there guys until next time assalamu alaikum